Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary. Hey, have you ever wondered which advice to take? I mean, today's world is inundated with tons of advice. You go on social media and there's all kinds of advice. You go on YouTube and there's people telling you how to lose weight, how to get fit. Um, people telling you how to fix your relationships. There's lots of advice out there. James wants to help us determine which advice to take. So let's look at James chapter 3. I'm going to read verses 13 through 18. James 3, 13. Who is wise and understanding among you? By his good conduct, let him show his works in the meekness of wisdom. But if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast and be false to the truth. This is not the wisdom that comes down from above, but it is earthly, unspiritual, demonic. For where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there will be disorder and every vile practice. But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere, and a harvest of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. So in this passage, God's word is helping us to determine if the wisdom and the advice we're getting is from above, if it's spiritual wisdom, or if it is earthly wisdom. So let's look at the contrasts real quick. Worldly wisdom. So worldly wisdom is full of bitterness and jealousy. Um, we want what other people have if we're listening to worldly wisdom. Um, it's selfish, the advice that tells you to look out for number one. It's boastful, bragging about itself. It's untrue, willing to lie to get ahead. Uh, it's earthly, only what is now matters. It's disordered, it's against God's order and his structure for life. There's every kind of vile practice, so you know it's going against God's word and what God wants. And ultimately, James tells us that it is demonic. There's a spiritual side to this earthly wisdom. So if you're listening to wisdom and it's characterized by those things that I just listed, that's the kind of wisdom you need to ignore. You want to ignore that advice, but you want to look for spiritual wisdom. So how does James classify that? Well, spiritual wisdom is pure. So that means it's holy and it's seeking to honor God. It's peaceable. So if it's peaceable, that means that there is peace in the relationships. It means that it's pointing towards this relational well-being. It's gentle. It's not hurtful. It's not harsh. It's not trying to harm others. It's reasonable. I like that. So reasonable. It's calm. There's logic to it. It makes sense. Spiritual wisdom is also merciful and forgiving, right? There's no sense of vengeance or getting revenge in it. There's good fruit. So we're talking about the fruit of the Spirit this summer, right? So there's good fruit in spiritual wisdom. So there's going to be love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, goodness. Those things are going to be present. It's impartial. So there's no favoritism when it comes to spiritual wisdom. It's sincere. It's not fake. And ultimately what it says is that it's going to plant the seeds of peace in somebody's life. So you might be looking for some advice today. Well, let me give you a little bit. Listen to spiritual wisdom as it's defined in James, and you're going to get going in the right direction today. Have a blessed day, Calvary.